Welcome to day three of my spring clean series here on the Victoria Marie YouTube channel. If you are new around these parts, make sure you hit the subscribe button when you do click the bell. That way you'll be notified each and every time a new video is posted. So continuing on, I am going to be working on organizing my adhesives as well as my ink pads and a few other supplies in this section of my scrapbook room. I do have this drawer system, it's the Alex drawer system from Ikea. And I bought this so that I could set up my most used tools and supplies. Right now, I'm using it to house things like my embossing powders. I also have these punches that I'm getting ready to take out of the drawers because I put too many in there and they're a little bit too heavy. So I need something lighter. So I'm gonna go ahead and turn that into my adhesive drawer. And I also need to address my million and one stamp pads because I love stamping inks and I use them all the time. I'm also going to be going through this pattern paper, which I think I'm gonna save it to the next video because it did take me a while to go through my drawers and get everything organized. Now, in this particular drawer set, this is my coffee station slash current adhesive station, or at least it was. I have all that adhesive there. And as you can see, there is a ton of it and I need to better organize it so I can see what I have. I go through a ton of adhesive, so I wanna make sure that's nice and organized. So of course now I'm hyping myself up with a little dance and of course, a little encouragement from Orange Bird. Love him, got to him at Disney World. Now it's time to get started. So I'm gonna go into the little blue drawer system here. I got that years ago at a home store. It used to sit in my living room. And I am pulling out all of my adhesives, my foam adhesive, roller adhesives, glue dots. And I also forgot that I have adhesives in my craft closet. Yeah, super fun. Okay, so one of the supplies that I keep stocked at all times are adhesives. I believe in having really good, high quality adhesives for your projects. And I buy a lot and I'm also sent a lot for different projects and whatnot. So I like to keep a good stock of it. What I wanna do, however, is that drawer obviously wasn't working and I had some in my craft closet. That's gonna be another project for another day. But what I wanna do is I want to organize this adhesive so that when I open the drawer, I can just grab what I need. It's all organized and I'm good to go. So. The main thing I wanna to do today is take the punches out of two of the drawers. I have some craft punches and I'm going to relocate those to a different spot in the craft room. I have an idea of how I wanna organize those, um, but that won't come up for a while. And then I'm going to put the adhesives in that drawer. So that's what I'm gonna work on. And then I also have um, some of this contact brand, uh, what is this called? It's called Grip Excel, and this is like a, it's a cushion non-slip liner is what it is. And I got this probably at Target or something like that. I'm gonna put this in the drawer because I have some tools in my drawers that move around and shift. I have a way that I want to store my inks. That'll be a different project for a different day, but for now I just want to keep them from slipping all over the place. And I like to keep them in the drawer because I wanna open the drawer and see all the inks available to me. So that's how I'm going to do that, at least for now. So we're gonna put down this as well inside the drawer and then I'll move along with the other projects for the day. So sorry for all that background noise. I actually had my windows up and it was a very windy day, so I do apologize for that. So I am going to sort all of my adhesive by category and I'm also going to purge some of it because there are some types of adhesive that I just don't use. But I do use roller adhesive, I, I use glue dots and foam adhesive and all kinds of fun adhesives for a variety of different projects. So I like to make sure that they're fully stocked. So once I had an idea of what categories that I wanted to put them in, then I can start putting them into the drawer. But first I need to clear out the drawer that I want my adhesives to go in. I'm using some organizers called Top Notch. I purchased those at Joann. You can get those type of organizers pretty much anywhere. Now I'm just gonna rough fit in this grip material and I've used this before in other places in my house. I purchased it from Target and you can use it in your cabinets and your drawers and it prevents things from shifting around. What I discovered is I didn't have enough of the material to put in all the drawers so I'm just gonna use it in the drawers where I am storing my stamping inks. Because of the size of the drawer, I did have to double up a little bit so that it fit the entire width of the drawer because these are wide drawers, but that's okay. Once I have that in place, I'm ready to put in all my materials. I first have the grip in this drawer where I was gonna put my foam and other adhesives, but I quickly changed that up, realizing that I wouldn't have enough of that material to put in the drawers that I'm gonna house my ink pads in. So that's gonna actually come out of the drawers with the adhesives. But for right now, 
I'm establishing a drawer for my foam adhesives. So I've got my strips, my rolls and that type of thing the larger roll products that is. And then I'll move on to storing my roller uh, adhesives like my Tombow Mono. The only thing that's not stored in the adhesive drawers are my liquid adhesives. I have those stored actually in my craft island and I'll show you that whenever I film that part of the process. Now that I have all my adhesives organized, I am really happy that I made the decision to move them over to these drawers. I can easily access all the adhesives that I need for a variety of the projects that I work on, and I can see what my inventory or how much of the adhesive I have and determine if I need to order anything. Next up are all of my ink pads. You can see I have quite a lot. Ink is something that I use all of the time and I have inks of various different formulations like hybrid ink and pigment inks that I use for a variety of different projects. What I want to do is set up my inks so that I can easily see the colors and the way that I'm doing this is I'm putting down some of that non-grip material so that the ink pads don't shift around in the drawer as they were before and I'm just kind of stacking them kind of uh, tapering them a little bit on top of each other so I can see all the different colors. Now, ideally, this is not how I want to permanently store my inks, but for right now, it works. I do want them in the drawer. I just want a different type of organizer for them. But right now, this works, and I only had to pay for that low contact <laughs> material. I didn't have to pay for anything else to go in the drawer. Next up, I'm just going to wipe down my furniture a little bit. It gets really dusty here <laughs> in Texas where I reside, and so I'm constantly having to dust and clean things off. I do want to give my furniture a nice wipe down as I'm going through this process. Next up, I'm going to go through this washi tape drawer. Most of the supplies here in this area are organized. However, I have this drawer of washi tape. This was stuff that was sent to me from American Crafts. And guess what? I let it all go except one package of washi tape. I sure did. I did not need all that washi tape. I like this washi tape. It's from the Reaching Out collection from Jen Hatfield. And I immediately put that in with the rest of my washi tape and notice that my washi tape storage is only four drawers and they're not fully stocked with washi. I have plenty of washi tape and there was no need for me to keep all of those washi tapes. So those are going to go to somebody who loves washi tape and will use it because I know that I would not. I'm very glad that I purged that. I'm very, very happy about that, as you can see. And the rest of that washi tape can go out of my house and onto someone who will use it. The next drawer I wanted to address was my sewing notions drawer. I don't do a ton of sewing. But I do believe every person should have a needle and thread somewhere in their house. I do have some of these stitching guides that I've had for a long time. So I put that in the drawer and I'm just kind of tidying up some of these little spindles of uh, thread. One of the things that I often do is hem stuff as needed. My daughter is taking ballet classes and so I use a lot of this fused fabric and that type of thing to alter her leotards and then of course just to do simple stitching my daughter uses a lot of this to sew doll clothes and things for her mini builds so i wanted to make sure that was cleaned up the drawer where the washi tape came out of i thought i was going to keep my embroidery floss but in there but i actually going to move that to the section that has my embroidery supplies instead i'm going to make a section or a drawer for our heat guns. We use heat guns every week. My daughter does, especially when she's working on projects. I'm gonna go ahead and stock that up with the glue sticks that we need so she can easily access it and we can see what we have and maybe what we need to purchase when we're running low on this particular supply. I want to make sure that was nice and handy so we can reach for it when need be. I'm also cleaning off the front panels there of my drawers because it's white furniture and you can see handprints and things of that nature. And with that, I think I'm pretty much done with this area. now. My stamps are a continual organization process. I'm adding new stamps in, but I did that process about a year ago, so that's all done. And then my daughter recently reorganized all my paper for me, which was great. I got rid of a lot, but this is my solid cardstock, eight and a half by 11 and 12 by 12. 
Most of the drawers here in this unit, actually I've had this drawer unit for several years and it's still pretty functional even though it's kind of scratched up, but that's okay. But most of the drawers here were already organized so I didn't have to touch it. That I organized all these drawers in my first round of spring clean last year. So I have exactly the materials and things that I need. Um, I have, you know, my paste and I have some reinkers, only the stuff that I really need. And notice that the drawers are not jam packed. I highly, highly, highly recommend that you have some space to grow, right? Where are you going to put those new materials that you get if your drawers are already packed to the brim? So my drawers only keep the things that I need, my card making supplies, my glue guns, my fibers, stuff that I use all of the time. And I can easily access it without wasting time looking for stuff. On the top here, I do have some six by six paper pads. Here's my washi tape storage. Again, if I exceed that storage, there's no more washi tape coming in. I've got my six by six and, and six by eight paper pads. That's all I own. That's plenty for me. And of course I have some little tchotchkes there. I think every craft space needs a little bit of whimsy to kind of brighten it up. Now, the rest of this drawer system had already been organized. So I have a drawer dedicated to different things. So here's like my ink stands, some of my embossing materials all ready to go and organize my stamping tools that I need when I'm doing stamping. The only other thing that I need to do, and I'm not going to do it in this video because I ran out of time, is I have to organize the pattern paper. I have a bunch of my punches and some stamps and things that need to be processed in and added to into my new uh, stamp organization system. And I will figure all that out later. Now let's talk about the stuff that I decide to purge. There are several things that I don't need anymore. I had six manual die cutting machines. I don't need that. I'm letting two of them go. I had a cinch that I don't need anymore. I had all that washi tape. I had a foil quill. I have all these things that have now left my house. If it's a product that I don't use and I don't need and I have no interest in, it has to go. All right, so here's the final look at my drawer system with my paper, my punches, my adhesives. I'm so glad that this is nice, clean, organized, ready to go. Again, half of this was already done. I just need to clean out those drawers to make them a little bit more functional for me as I am working on projects. Okay, friends, our series is almost done. I still have my standing height, my standing counter height, craft island that I'm gonna be organizing as well as my computer desk. And then I will do a grand tour of my space coming up really soon. So stay tuned for more. And if you haven't already, make sure you subscribe here to the Victoria Marie YouTube channel. Click the bell. That way you'll be notified each and every time a new video pops up. I'll see you in the next one.